guys i know we haven't chatted in a bit i took some time off thank you so much for allowing me to do that i just had had a really hard two years as i'm sure a lot of you had and i was finally able to come and visit my friends and i really wanted to enjoy it and kind of switch off but i'm back baby and i have so many exciting video ideas so stay tuned also i just want to let you know i'm not alone right now i do have a little guest here Hi, Tiger. I honestly really was a dog person until I met Tiger. Just evidence that people really can change. You know I love her, Eva, girl. I fancy you. She could not care less about me. Eva, Las Vegas. So on Instagram, you guys have sent us some questions to ask today. Ducky doesn't know the questions. No. So let's start with one. Would you rather never see Taylor Swift in concert again mm -hmm. or have to eat raw till four for three months? Oh, I would eat raw till four for three months. To see her again. That's yeah. no worry. I could literally do it so easily. I would just do it for fun, for an experiment anyway. If this video gets 10,000 likes, Ducky's gonna do raw till four for three months on her channel. I could. I don't think you could. Okay. That's fine. No, I was just saying to see if you were trying to prove me wrong. I think I definitely could do it. You could still go out to breakfast, but mm. you can still get a smoothie bowl. No granola if it's toasted though. It would just suck. <laughs> no ice cacao because that's boiled water. Wait, you can't have boiled water? Well, it's hot. It's not raw water. It's cooked water. <laughs> raw to four isn't supposed to be enjoyable and that's just something that I have to say. That's just my go opinion. Off, sis. Could you do three months raw if you could meet her? Yeah. Yeah. I would just do Banana Island again. <laughs> That's so frightful. I actually think my butthole would be <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> but I would do it for her, so. <laughs> okay, if you could only live in one country for the rest of your life, I'm gonna say besides Australia. Okay. What would it be? I think New Zealand. Not that I've been to New Zealand. <laughs> most people that I know say that I would love it. In terms of like nature, it is one of the most stunning countries of all time. Uh -huh. They have an incredibly rich culture, but there's also the similarities between Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. So it's not a huge culture shock. Yeah. What about you? Probably America. Oh yeah, well that makes sense. Yeah. I love the national parks. I have a lot of friends there. Mm. A lot of it scares me though, so that would be a problem. That's the thing. I'm like, I like America, but like the idea of being there permanently. Yeah. Is Sorry, like, re like healthcare? <laughs> like yeah. that would be an issue. Yeah. It's hard when you live in the greatest country on earth. Like that's just my opinion. A lot of my friends that aren't Australian think Australia is just outback. The whole, like the whole country is so outback. It's so funny to think that, hey. And they think we don't have seasons. And I'm like, Melbourne is so cold. Like, and yeah. she was like, I literally thought it was 35 degrees every day. I think that's what you see on socials as well. Well, it depends who you follow, I that's guess. True. But yeah, that's we're true. not posting when it's 6 a.m. freezing cold in the morning. No. When was the last time you stacked it? I think that's referring to skating because we're both skater gal oh, have you ha ever had a ba big accident no nah. actually like did it for a little while and then i haven't done it yeah since. i picked up longboarding during lockdown and i got to that point where i was like i'm not pushing myself and i know that in order to develop anything further i'm gonna have to injure myself and so i started learning a new skill and i was okay with the fact that i was probably gonna fall uh. and the skill was so i have a dancer longboard which is like you can move around on it and i was doing a spin whilst it's moving and i was able to do it and i was learning it and i felt confident in it and then i got too confident in it I started doing it when I was going way too fast uh, and so I'm spinning around but I mi misstepped and like the board flew out from underneath and because I was turning I just hit the ground in such a oh such a painful uh, way he was like it looked like you had snapped your knee in half he thought oh my, my leg God. was gonna be like completely broken Jeez. and so that was my biggest <laughs> ever come to the Gold Coast, you have to go to the salt mill. It is, in my opinion, the best avocado toast and also probably the best acai. They give you so much and all of that peanut butter, more peanut butter than anywhere else. Get both of these things. Top three avo toast on the Gold Coast, all time coffee, the milkman's daughter, third base. You want my viewers to go to third base? Obviously. <laughs>
context for this day that we're having today. Ducky is taking me out on a little friendship adventure day for my birthday. And so, yeah, it's really nice getting to spend a day, just the two of us, because she's one of my favorite people in the world and I haven't seen her in a year. So to get to spend time one-on-one -on -one again, it's really nice. Ducky, if you're watching this, I love you so much. So thankful for our friendship. And let's be honest, you've got a wagon. So thanks for letting me see it. A very common question, how did you meet? Because <laughs> we've never talked about that. <laughs> when I was like 15, I was like in a girl named Ali Tumblr fan. Stop. You know. No, I didn't. Oh, I literally did not know that. I knew that you followed my Instagram. I didn't know you've known me since I was 15. Yes, essentially when I was 15, I was in a girl named Ali Tumblr fan. And this is when I had started to think about going vegan. <gasps> And I found your Tumblr again because I remember following you and then you were vegan. It's like, oh, that's cool. Love so that. then I kept following you on Tumblr, which then turned into me following you on Instagram. I really put myself out there back in the day and I would really like going to meetups and stuff like that. Also, I feel like people were having meetups more back then. Yes, so true. And you had a meetup like I don't, you don't remember meeting me at this one, and that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know which one it was. It was a really big one. There was one in Melbourne, and I went to it, um, and I made a couple of like my first vegan friends there, but <gasps> I didn't really talk to you. At some point, you started following me on Instagram. Of course. And then you organized like a little get together. I remember like, that one. Yeah, yeah. it's like a, a bunch of like people in the vegan community in Melbourne and that's when they, we like properly met and like started getting along that's pretty that's my true. memory of when we met yeah <laughs> you don't remember the day we actually met no. which is fine I won't take offense <laughs> but I remember every day since then yeah there you go met that's such a wholesome internet. story I know a lot of people probably find this weird but a lot of my closest friends have been met through social media because maybe it's those of us that didn't feel particularly seen in high school or like couldn't really be our full selves but then social media allowed us to be more vulnerable and then you find like my people yeah. but it's been a really like positive experience totally meeting people that's the tea that is the tea that is how we met we have just arrived at Kugel Cascades which is a waterfall spot 30 minutes inland on the Gold Coast it's beautiful Ali has never been here before I have been here many a times before and I'm very excited to show her hopefully it's gonna be nice and quiet down there and we get to have a lovely swim so if you follow me on Instagram you're probably sick to death of hearing me talk about this at this point but I just cannot even put into words how nice it feels to be making new memories again after what felt like two whole years just being stuck inside, getting to be with people that I hadn't seen in so long and just experience new things and see new places and live a day that felt entirely unscripted felt incredible. My soul is so happy and my cup is completely refilled. So I don't know where in the world you're watching this from right now, but I hope this video can serve as a little reminder of what's out there in the world, how beautiful our planet is, and all of the great memories you're going to make. Also, yes, this is us being too scared to get in because I saw a water snake and Ducky saw an eel. <laughs> so we definitely chickened out, but <laughs> it was still fun. The dimples in your back at the bottom of your spine But I'm not a priest, so fuck your confession How do you stay so close, living so far apart? I don't know that there's an art to it I feel like something that is important is A, effort Yeah And B, like communication Yeah Because I think the nature of being an adult is that life is busy Exactly Right, like sometimes I don't like talk to my friends who I live in the same city as I've never found it hard staying in touch with long distance friends until the pandemic happened uh, because when we were in lockdown and no one else was it was really hard seeing the rest of the world be busy and social and see each other but i couldn't and so that was obviously just a comparison thing uh -huh. but i think in general voice memos i love uh -huh. facetiming if that's your thing or even like a phone call if you're both doing something like walking or doing washing or yeah. cleaning a phone call or a facetime makes you feel like you're in the same room totally i love a phone call yeah i think that 
when there's clear communication, closeness is not a difficult thing to maintain. That's just my opinion. I agree. And I think if both people are putting in the energy, it will happen. It will come naturally. There are even things like watching a movie together at the same time and texting during it. Like yeah. simple things. It doesn't have to be really complex. We did that last year actually when we watched Outer Banks. Oh yeah, we did. Also visit them. <laughs> 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 yeah. Hey guys, I just want to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, which is Threadheads. Threadheads are an absolutely iconic Melbourne based clothing brand and they are completely sustainable, ethically made, and they make just about everything you could ever want. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, tote bags, everything in between, all with super cool, funky retro designs. My favorite range that they stock is like the kind of childhood inspired classics with a bit of a twist. Just the other day I was wearing this t-shirt on Instagram and one of you guys replied saying, I looked like season three Haley when she wears all her graphic tees. And if you know, that is just the compliment of the century to me. So thank you. But basically, yeah, they just have really, really cool designs all based on like different pop culture things right up my alley, right up your alley. You know, I love the 2000s and pop culture in general. So this just speaks to my soul. The quality of these pieces is through the roof. They are so soft, so nice and so thick. They print on demand. So there is just no waste and it's all made with responsibly sourced material. This little guy reminds me so much of the character in Loki, the TV show. There's just something about this retro design and like this era, this time makes my heart so happy. Anything retro or slightly childhood inspired, I have to have it. I think my next purchase from the website is going to be this tote bag because as an Australian, <laughs> I have to, I have to. I will link all of their information down below in the description as well as just like a few of the cool pieces that I love. Thank you again, Threadheads, so much for sponsoring this video. Everyone, make sure you go and check them out. They are the best. All right, back to the video. What are your top five best Taylor Swift songs oh. and worst five? I mean, I literally ranked all of them, so link below. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say Cardigan, Coney Island, August, All Too Well 10 minute version. Mm -hmm. If you don't include All 10 Well, because I feel like that's everyone's. That's what I just said. No, I'm saying if we don't include that. Oh, okay. Probably Dancing With Our Hands Tied. Wow, beautiful. What about you? Okay, if we don't include all too well or and all 10 well. Holy ground, enchanted. What a catch. So many songs on speak now. Mine, Dear John, Long Live, Cornelia Street Live from Paris. Like I love every song on Fearless as well. Are you giving like a top five album? <laughs> like what's happening here? <laughs> it's hard. What about least favorite? My bottom five? is probably i feel like you don't like speak now songs well yes yeah, and now, debut speak now's my second least favorite album i would say my bottom five songs are probably dorothea soon you'll get better it's nice to have a friend innocent i just like don't listen to it see i think it's a really good song but i can't listen to it because I don't think he deserves it, so I get angry that it exists. Uh huh. What about you? See, this is more difficult for you, I feel. Obviously, same thing, like, soon you'll get better. Can't listen to it. Ronan, kind of for the same reason. I don't think I could ever call that a least favorite song because it's like an amazing, beautiful song, but I don't listen to it. Yeah. I don't love The Archer. Oh! <gasps> I know, which is controversial because that's a lot of people's favorite song. Is that just because you, like, can't relate to it? Or, like, <laughs> Because like personally, like I love it because like it's so painfully true. Lyrically, I don't dislike any of her songs. Mm -hmm. It's literally just the sound. I'm like, I just prefer the sound of other songs. Mm -hmm. Same with It's Nice to Have a Friend. Like lyrically, beautiful, but the plucking just like rubs me the wrong way. I understand. Yeah. Also Endgame, don't know why, but I just don't like it. I talked about this in my ranking video, but I feel like it's the term Endgame. Like Stan culture was like, I want Arya and Ezra to be Endgame. Yeah. And so that term to me is really cringy. Uh-huh. So I can't really take it seriously. What's something you'd say to you from a year ago? Probably like stop working so much. No amount of work is going to make you feel fulfilled and successful. Yeah. Because it comes from within you. Love that. What about you? No amount of freedom gets you clean. No. I would say it actually does get better. <laughs> Hang in there. I think I would tell myself, remind myself that healing isn't linear mm -hmm. because as humans, it's really easy to be hard on yourself about that and feel like you need to be done with grieving or healing or anything when we simply aren't. And that's a lifelong journey. Yeah. 
I was gonna ask them what I asked you and Ellen. Well, you've asked us so many things. Yeah, that's true. This time of year, more so New Year's, but even so now, I like reflecting on pop culture things that have come out or that have impacted you. So in the comments, we would love to hear mm. like your top five films of all time or your favorite film that came out in the past year. Similarly, your fi favorite five albums of all time or the one that came out in the past year. What did you say yours was that came out last year? My favorite album, mm. Greta Ray's Greta Begin Ray. to Look Around. I would have to say Red Tails version. That's all. We're going to relax now. Yeah, we just got home and our feet are disgusting. No free feet. <laughs> Sorry. Hope you blurred that. I will. <laughs> and then going for a little sunset swim, hopefully. It'll be lovely. And it's going to be a beautiful chips. one tonight. Such a short time to be alive All this hardship and convenience Makes it so hard to meditate I will miss it now I will miss it now And I know it's just a matter of time Before the time is <laughs> lost in your mind guys enjoyed this I know I haven't made a vlog in forever and they're not what everyone loves to see but I love to make them because they're just fun to look back on these memories make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and I'll see you next time bye <laughs>